Okay, so um, it's myself on here. Hello, and um, I know a few people have been asking for the deck list. Um, uh, because the uh, Konami they haven't uh, of Europe they've decided not to post the top 32. I'm not sure if they are or not. So at the moment they haven't posted my deck list up. So a lot of you've been asking for it. I did have a video before, but I'm just going to go over it. And there will be a um, link in the well, not a link. There'll be I'll write it out in the description below. Um. Because I'm, I, yeah, I'm quite proud of it. It's pretty, it's pretty standard, but there are a few little bits. So I'll just quickly go through the deck. We've got two Age of Mystery Earth, two Venus, no, yeah, three, three Earth, three Venus, three Shine Ball, three Hyperion, one Honest, uh, three Herald of Orange Light, uh, two Tiki Striker, two Tiki Wolves, one Sangam, one Gauze, one BLS, two Spirit Reaper. I'll come back to that in a bit. One Reborn, one Dark Hole, one Heavy Storm, two MST, one Mind Control, one Duality, one Dust Shoot, one Mirror Force, one Torrential, two Warning, one Judgment, and two Bottomless. Uh, in the extra deck, got Catastor, um, Mitra Android, Wonder Magician, Bryanak, Gaia Knight, Black Crows, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Stardust, Scrap, Trishula, Levia, Leviathan, two Gekshi Gekshi, and Chimera Tech. And um a side deck real quick. Uh two goes and match, two Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, one Shadow and Prison Mirror, one D D Crow, two D Prison, two Cyber Dragon, two Dust Tornado, one MST, and these were Thunder King Rios. So, um on some choices. Uh the card of the deck for the tournament was definitely Master Hyperion. I kept on drawing it and BLS and you know, this just it wins games so much, it's a really, really good card. I mean, I probably don't need to tell you that, but that was definitely my um, star player. Um, only one duality. Uh, I felt that it, it adds consistency, but I'd rather have, you know, I couldn't really find space for two more, and I found one was okay, you know, if you had a bad hand. Um, adding two more would probably help the consistency, you know, help get your high period on quicker, but I feel that you don't, you know, you can do that uh, as well sometimes anyway, you don't really need duality. Two main deck Reaper. Um, this is, I don't know, it's just something I was try I tried out and I really liked, um, so I decided to keep it. I was kind of thought about uh, Rabbit and about, you know, how the game actually is. A Reaper can stop a lot of plays nowadays, and so it does give you time to set up. And it's, when you you know go aggressive with it, like a move I really like doing, I did a couple of times was set Reaper, and then next turn you draw into Earth, and then you summon Earth, um, and you got your Reaper, and you can you know attack directly, and think in Catasta or something like that. Um, everything else is pretty standard. Only two of the TG. Um, they w I cited them out most games anyway, but I, I like them just game one, and you know they provide another dark target in War Wolf, and um, Striker helps do some like synchro plays. I don't really make Trishula that much, which is weird, but you know it's just they're just there for a bit of added speed. Um, yeah, the that was pretty solid. Extra deck. Uh, if I when I uh, did it again, uh, my changes are probably going to be, I'm probably going to take an Ancient Fairy and put in a Utopia. But apart from that, it's pretty solid. Do I, I don't have a Librarian, which is why I was running Mangdroid. And, personally, I think Mangdroid is good. I mean, maybe Librarian would be good because it could get another Dark target for BLS, but I've got Catastrophe as Dark, and Mangdroid being light means that I can, uh, Honest works a bit and stuff, so that's really, they did actually... I did use Honest on it, I, well I have before. Side deck's pretty standardish. Goes and Max is amazing, I love Goes and Max. And I love Kaikus over Crows, just because it's a, you know, an 1800 beta, and it's, you know, it's just solid. 2200 on the Gakshi. I never played any Dark World, so I don't know about Shadow and Prison Mirror. Uh, I, I want to keep Crow at 1, but, because it is. It's good, but I don't really like it that much. 2D Prison was pretty solid. 2 Cyber Dragon. 
um, yes, this I only played one Karakuri, and I don't think I saw my Cyber Dragon, but still really useful. Two, these are like my most commonly sighted in these guys. So I'm thinking about trying to main the third MC, maybe taking out that pop duality and putting in the third MST. So I'm not sure. And the Rayos, maybe I should have mained them and placed the Reapers, but I don't know. Reaper saved my ass against um, six Samurai, which I know isn't that common a deck. But, you know, it just helps you save you against um, lots of just random OTKs that come out of nowhere. So, I really liked it. Um, yeah, the deck's pretty... It was really, really solid, and um, I'm really happy with it. Like I said, there are a few changes I'm thinking about, but that's about it. And so, until the next ban list, it's going to stick around pretty much this. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen in the ban list to Agents. I can see Hyperion, or... Venus or Earth possibly getting hit, maybe semi-limited because anything else would be a bit bleh, but I don't know. If you got any uh, thoughts then um, just put them down in the comments section below and um, yeah, like I said I'll put the um, deck profile in the description. So um, again thanks everybody for support and stuff and um, yeah this is Top 32 TG Agents decklist and I'm Mind Self on signing out.